Welcome to Roving AI News Music Segment. I am Carla Brown, and I am your host today. Today we cover what happened inside MS. Jenny's interrogation and why she wasn't detained. Anansi was a junior partner at the law firm of M. Launder and Sons, but he was always looking for a way to make a quick buck. That's why when Miss Jenny hired him to prepare her for an interview with the police, he saw an opportunity to make some extra cash. During the interview, Miss Jenny incriminated herself multiple times and couldn't get her story straight. Anansi knew that she was likely to fail the interrogation and be immediately arrested. He explained this to her, and she began to cry, asking if there was anything he could do. Anansi told her that he might have a plan that could work, but it would require her to give some of the SSL money to him before the Privy Council passed the law requiring him to report it. She agreed to pay him, and Anansi got to work. He created three manila folders and wrote on each the following, A.H. Bank statements and building invoices, N.C. Bank statements and glasses invoices, and A.S. Bank statements and gas receipts. He then proceeded to stuff each folder with waste paper and case notes from other files. When Miss Jenny saw what he was doing, she got nervous and asked him what he was doing with her money. Anansi assured her that everything was under control. On the day of the interrogation, Anansi instructed Miss Jenny to wear her scam starter kit, which consisted of a walker, crocs, and a house gown. Anansi brought a large pitcher of water into the room and drank it really fast. As Inspector I am. Clown began to question Miss Jenny, Anansi objected to the line of questioning, claiming that it was irrelevant to the matter at hand. But the inspector persisted and asked Miss Jenny about her connection to a known criminal. Anansi was nervous, but he managed to keep his cool. He knew that he had to stick to the plan and trust in his own abilities. He continued to sip on the water and burp, distracting the inspector and allowing Miss Jenny to keep her composure. When the police started to pressure Miss Jenny, Anansi produced the three folders and placed them on the table. He then left the room and noticed that Inspector Clown had stopped his line of questioning and looked at the folders. Inspector Clown asked Anansi who A.H., N.C., and A.S. were. Anansi responded that they were the big boss and the two money men connected to the case. Upon hearing this, Inspector I.M. Clown took out his phone and made a call to the higher-ups. In two minutes, Anansi and his client were told they were free to go. Anansi had managed to pull off his scheme, and he walked away with a tidy profit. Anansi left the folders in the interrogation room, and when Inspector Clown opened the folders, he found nothing but junk. Miss Jenny was grateful, but Anansi knew that he couldn't rest on his laurels. He was always looking for the next big score, and he knew that he would never stop until he had all the money in the world. Please remember to like and subscribe. If there are other topics that you would like to see, please reach out. Thanks, and good night.